What is going on guys? John here for another food review. And today we are checking out the meatball sub from Arby's. Now, Arby's has a long list of phenomenal, high quality, meaty sandwiches. And so they are just going to continue this trend with meatballs. So we got the sandwich right here, $6.30 before tax. So a little over $6.50 after tax. Pretty expensive for a meatball sub, but here it is. Let me get you in here for a close-up. All right, so here we have the meatball sub. We got one kind of poking out there. And then we have one that seems to be missing there. So it does look like we have four. It just kind of shifted, or I guess they just made it lazily because there's not even sauce on that side of the bun. Little drip there. So uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging, but I mean, other than that, it looks pretty good. Let's check it out, guys. All righty, let's eat. We have rearranged the sub, so it is two meatballs per half. And then we got this guy kind of just exploding on the bottom. But let's try it out, guys. The meatball sub from Arby's. Here we go. A very flavorful meatball going on right there. Pretty good stuff. Got some melted cheese. Mm. This is definitely a messy experience. Got sauce and cheese going everywhere. Definitely gonna need a lot of napkins for this one, guys. All right, guys, so the meatball sub from Arby's. Um, it, was, it was pretty tasty. I mean, the meatballs were big, they were flavorful, they were nice and tender. It wasn't just like chewing on rubber. Uh, the cheese was delicious, the bun was fine, and then the sauce was very, very tangy, very, very sweet, very enjoyable. However, the positives kind of end there. So, um, not a big deal, but it was a very messy sandwich, but then again, we're eating a meatball sub. But my large gripe with this sandwich is the price. I mean, we paid $11 for a drink, fries, and a meatball sub. The sub itself is almost $7. It's like $6.50 after tax. So, I mean, almost $7 for a sub. We're talking about meatballs here, though. I mean, this is diluted ground beef. I mean, ground beef is already cheap. Then you add breadcrumbs and eggs and seasonings, and you kind of just, you're, you're essentially diluting a cheap product. Ground beef is already cheap. Now you're adding bread and stuff to it. Make it even cheaper. It's just not a premium product. And I just can't believe that they think they can get away with charging $11 for a combo with this. I mean, it's a meatball. It's not filet mignon. It's not, you know, pork tenderloin in a, in a Wiener schnitzel type deal where it's like breaded and, and fried and stuff like that. It's just, it's ground beef with some stuff in it. You can't charge that much money for it. So, I mean, you can get a foot long meatball sub from a place like Subway. Yes, this is fast food versus fast food. So we can make that comparison for like six or seven bucks and you get a whole foot long versus like a six inch that, you know, it's just too expensive. For what it is, it's just too expensive. That being said, the taste was phenomenal. I mean, it was definitely great. Arby's is known for their quality and it definitely was, you know, up to par with that. It was just way too expensive in my book. So, so overall guys, I'm going to give the Arby's meatball sub, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It's delicious, but it's like, dude, what is that, like a dollar fifty a meatball? I mean, give me a break. That's that's even more than a dollar fifty a meatball. One Arby's meatball or like a triple cheeseburger from McDonald's or something. I mean, give me a break. So, anyways, there you go, guys. Seven out of ten for the Arby's meatball sandwich. Thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.